Um, so first take a look at your unit five protein synthesis crash course notes. Um, and I want you to first fill out this chart between DNA and RNA. You should have already completed the video that's DNA structure. Um, but go ahead, fill out this chart. You're going to be able to refer back to in order to um, tell the different differences between DNA and RNA. Um, so function of DNA, it's that genetic information. It's got two strands. Here's the bases um, and how to remember it. Go ahead, write that down for DNA and RNA and pause this if you need to. All right, DNA replication. DNA can replicate because it has two strands that separate. That's why it can replicate and RNA cannot. A pairs with T and G pairs with C. So if this is our strand of DNA and we were making the complement, we would have T pair with A, A pair with T, C pair with G, and so on and so forth. All right, let's get into RNA. Why do we need RNA? DNA has the code that is needed to make proteins. However, DNA cannot leave the nucleus. Since proteins are made at the ribosomes, the cell uses RNA to take the information from the DNA in the nucleus to the ribosomes to build the protein. So go ahead and make sure you're filling that in on the bullet points on your notes. Okay, so RNA is made from DNA. However, any spot we would normally put a T, we now will replace it with a U. So looking at this strand of DNA, T pairs with A, a would normally pair with T, but now instead, since we're making RNA, we're going to put a U. C pairs with G, G pairs with C, and so on and so forth. So anywhere we would normally have a T in the molecule, we now put a U. Okay, go ahead and draw this diagram in the second page of your notes, transcription versus translation. So our first step is DNA has to get into mRNA. That is called transcription, and it occurs in the nucleus. Then the mRNA, since it can leave the nucleus, goes to code for the amino acids. And this makes our proteins. We should know by now that the proteins are made in the ribosome. And this is called translation. So if this is our strand of DNA, we would transcribe it into our RNA. So T would pair with A. A would pair with U. C would pair with G. G, G, and G. And then this RNA strand would go all the way to the ribosome and eventually code for our amino acids. But the key thing here is it's got to break up into groups of three. These are called our codons in order for it to be read by the ribosome. So it'll eventually code for those amino acids. And I'm going to show you how to do that on the next page. So this is how we code for our amino acids. You have this codon chart in your notes um, and we First, you have to break our RNA into codons, groups of three. We're going to always find our first letter, which is A, on this side over here. So this is A. We found it. Second letter, G. We're going to look at the top for our second base. We see G. And then right off the bat, I always like to see what box they meet in so I can narrow it down. A and G would meet in this box. We know it's going to be in this box. To figure out whether it's going to be S-E-R or A-R-G, we look at our third letter, U. And we look over here for our third base. We follow that U across, we get S-E-R. Go ahead, here are the rest of them. See if you can figure it out on the codon chart, but feel free to call me over if you have any questions. All right, um, so the rest of your packet, you have a couple codon uh, RNA strands to try. Once you've completed that, call me over and I will give you the next assignment.